Hi, I'm Joshua Wong from Google Research, and I'm here to tell you about our EC2024 paper, Prior Free Mechanism with Welfare Guarantees. So uh, the quick setting of our paper is that, you know, imagine you're the designer of a new digital good that you want to bring to market. And the question is, how do you design an auction to sell it to, you know, n possible buyers? And because it's a digital good, you could actually sell it to all of them simultaneously. Uh, kind of classical work on this problem classical mechanism of design work, would assume that you know some distribution that people's values are being drawn from, and it would use that to design a mechanism. Uh, over time, uh, theory work has tried to weaken this kind of assumption because, you know, this is quite a strong thing to assume when we have a brand new good that has never been brought to market before. So, you know, for example, the distribution might not actually be known, or perhaps, you know, there is no distribution and participants are being, their values are being chosen adversarially. Uh, today, for our paper, uh, we're going to use the following new assumption. We're going to assume we approximately know the size of the entire market. So if you took all the buyers and you added up their values, it's some number between alpha and one, where alpha is the parameter that captures how much uncertainty we have about the size of the market. Uh, so we sell, we study several different settings, not just this digital goods setting, but in the digital goods setting, what we, manage, what we manage to show is that the approximation factor of our simple mechanism uh, is log of the number of buyers divided by this uncertainty parameter alpha. Uh, we show also that this dependence is tight by providing two lower bounds that match the dependence in each parameter. Uh, one generalization of digital goods is the matroid setting. So we're allowed to assign freely to any independent set of a particular matroid. And we show, you know, all the bounds generalized naturally instead of n. Uh, every n previously gets replaced by a k, where k is the rank of the matroid. Uh, and finally, we also study the public goods setting. In this setting, you can either assign the item to no buyers at all or all buyers together. And, you know, because your hands are tied in this additional way, the problem is harder. And we show that the correct way for the in, for the approximation guarantees to decay is that log n turns into just a linear factor of n. Uh, some concluding thoughts. So we've designed simple mechanisms in our paper, and we back them with theoretical guarantees that we show are asymptotically optimal. Uh, interestingly, we also ran some computer analysis of the optimal mechanism for two buyers, and we show that it has this surprisingly complex structure. So, you know, interesting future directions might be to consider some other mechanism design settings uh, besides these three, or perhaps some slightly different partial information assumptions. Thanks.